Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Pace Athletics Alumni Spotlight presented by New York Presbyterian, the official healthcare provider of Pace Athletics. Today, I'm joined by 2018 Pace Women's Lacrosse graduate, Najma James. Najma, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, you were part of the first ever Pace Women's Lacrosse team in 2015 as a freshman. Um, you know, very interesting to kind of start a program, uh, to be a part of a, you know, inaugural team. Why don't you just talk about the, you know, what that experience was like, maybe beginning coming out of high school, what was your expectations on being the first ever team? You know, why don't you talk about that whole process? Right. Um, thank you for that question. The expectation, it was pretty high. If you um, look back and think about it, you're a freshman going into collegiate level playing lacrosse and um, you're setting the tone, you're creating the culture, you're creating different rituals that are going on. Everything that you're doing, you're starting from the ground up. Um, it can be overwhelming as a freshman, but we all took the challenge. And it was really fun creating um, anything new that we had, everything that we have from Pace and all of the rituals that they do and the warm ups and the music, anything like super simple or what we do before a game, all of that. Um, it started in the inaugural season 2015, and it was very exciting being a part of that and the groundbreaking of the team. So I would definitely say it was a great position to be in as a freshman and also knowing that you're probably going to get a lot of playing time. And that's pretty much what people want when they are in college. They want to make sure that they're playing and they're at the best position to do so and the best school for that to happen. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. You're going to play right away. Um, so kind of trial by fire. So, you know, taking that tone, um, you guys had, it didn't take long to have success. You know, it's very, very hard, obviously, to start a program. You're starting with so many young kids. Um, but, you know, your second year, you guys are over 500. Then you won 11 games. Then I think you won 14 games. Uh, so you guys, you know, pretty quickly had, you know, national success. You know, what do you think went into that, you know, that success? Definitely um, our first year, we went into it as we literally had nothing to lose because we literally had nothing to lose. There were 21 freshmen playing against veterans, playing against the top teams in the country in D2. Um, and it was just great playing when you're relieved and you know that you have nothing to lose and everything that you're bringing, um, you're putting your best foot forward. Um, but going with that, second year and third year we weren't the underdogs anymore we were the team to look at and that also was encouraging and it was exciting to be a part of a team where we quickly just understood each other and the chemistry was there because the recruiting was so good and everybody that was on the team we were most likely the best players in high school so having um, really good chemistry and bonding as a team all together, it definitely helped us mold and shape um, our culture and having that winning aspect. We all wanted to win. We all were freshmen and we were young, but we're athletes and we were competitors. And during practice, we were always competing with each other. Even though I said in the beginning, when you're a freshman, you're probably gonna start because they're all freshmen, but we were making it, nobody had a starting position. We're working hard every day in practice, and it was fun and competing against great women um, on the team that created that culture. That's great. Um, now, you know, my next question kind of is, you know, after, you know, you're obviously an alumni now, um, you know, but you stayed connected with Pace uh, and Pace Women's Across. I know recently, I think you spoke with the team via Zoom. Um, you know, you're on the alumni board. Kind of, you know, what... Why is that important to you to kind of stay connected, stay supporting, giving back in that way? Definitely um, staying connected to the school because it gave me so much that I probably wouldn't have had if I um, went to a different school. Pace is very close-knit and um, we see other alumni from other um, teams coming back and paying it forward. So we wanted to set that precedent as well, being the first alumni class graduating. We wanted to make sure, me specifically, that I'm giving back to people that are undergrad, anything that I can do, if it could be mentorship, if it could be speaking with the team about anything. Um, I know coach Trisha, she um, invited me to speak to the team about social justice. And I really appreciated that. And it just goes to show that Pace Athletics as a whole, um, they really care about their student athletes and they believe that it's 
student athlete. You're always a student before you're an athlete. So just staying connected and any way I can give back, even though I'm still also in school myself, um, it, it helps and I enjoy it. Now, um, you know, we kind of went over before we talked to you what we were going to talk about, but this question I didn't, you know, I didn't mention, but uh, I'll throw you off guard here is what, what, what is the biggest thing you think you miss about being a part of the Pace Women's Lacrosse team? I think about that pretty frequently. I miss a lot about just the team aspect. I miss the games overall. I am a, um, a junior varsity coach at one of the private schools in Baltimore. So I had to stay connected with the game because it was my first love. I just love the sport and just playing games and competing against other people and just being around a team um, of amazing women is great. Yeah, no, that's cool. That, that's very cool that you're still, uh, you know, still a coach and, um, you know, staying connected in that way as well. Um, now let's quickly switch gears a little bit. You mentioned you're still in school, you're in law school, you know, was that always the plan for you or did something at pace kind of happen that, that maybe led you that way? Yeah, so actually that wasn't my plan. I was a criminal justice major and I minored in sociology and computer IT. I wanted to be an FBI agent. I wanted to be in the Secret Service, the CIA, anything in that nature, in that realm. Um, and then my senior year, um, I interned at the Legal Aid Society um, in New York and White Plains. And I also, my junior year, I interned at an employment law firm. And from there, um, I just grew a passion for working in the law and working as an attorney. So I decided to switch gears and become a lawyer. So now I am at my second year at the University of Maryland School of Law. Uh, Najma, you know, I appreciate you joining us um, for Islam Spotlight and hopefully we can do it again sometime. Yes, thank you for having me. I really enjoyed it and thank you for everything.